if you don't live in the United States but you want to be paid in US dollars, here's how you can make that happen without having to be a resident of the United States or having to fly there to physically open or verify your new US bank account. Hi, my name is Laura. I'm a self-publisher based in Canada and Amazon pays me monthly royalties in United States dollars. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what you need to set up a US bank account online so that you can hook it up to your PayPal or Amazon account or Stripe or Shopify and do business in US dollars. The problem is most US banks only allow US residents to open an account. And with some US banks, you can start the process of opening an account online, but you need to visit in person to actually verify your documentation. However, if you're a non-resident, there are still limited but viable options. Your best option is to open a multi-currency account with WISE, formerly known as TransferWISE, because it gives you a routing number, an account number, a checking account, plus a Visa debit card you can use to spend in 50 plus currencies, including USD, and in addition to a physical card, you also have access to a virtual card for secure online shopping. If you want to take advantage of this cheaper way to send, spend, and receive money internationally, use the first link in the description or the pinned comment. This means that you'll be able to spend and be paid just like a local in the United States and convert your US balance to your native currency without being charged outrageous bank fees. In fact, here's a look at Wise's pricing as compared to other platforms. And the reason why you can send money at the real exchange rate with Wise is because of the way that it does transfers. If I had money I wanted to send to a friend in the United States, a traditional bank would convert my Canadian dollars to US dollars at a bad exchange rate and then send that money across the border, which, which is what makes that transfer so expensive. WISE has its own bank accounts in more than 50 countries worldwide in the local currency so that they don't have to convert one currency to another and they don't have to transfer money across borders. This means that WISE keeps its costs low and they pass on the savings to you. So, for example, if you want to send pounds to France, simply log on and pay in your pounds to TransferWISE's UK account. Then, TransferWISE's French account sends euros to the recipient. The money never actually crosses any borders. Here's how to set up your account. When you click the first link in the description or the pinned comment, you will see a page that looks like this and a button where you can open your account. Enter your email address or log in with a Google, Facebook, or Apple account. Next, you'll have to decide whether you'd like to open a personal or a business account. And you can add another account later on if you'd like. Both of these types of accounts are free to open and there are no monthly fees for either personal or business accounts with WISE. And both give you access to a physical debit card, like I said, as well as a virtual card so that there's no need to bring your wallet and there's no risk of your card being stolen. Here's a quick comparison of the business and personal accounts and something to note with the business account, you can receive Stripe and Amazon payouts for free. Back to the account setup, you need to fill in your country of primary residence and verify your phone number with a code and lastly, of course, choose a secure password. To activate your WISE account, you'll need to deposit some initial funds into your account and that amount is about $20 or £16 currently and this applies to both personal and business accounts. These initial funds are used to create unique bank account details for the various currencies through which you can receive funds. So here's a real look inside my own account and you can see that this is a screenshot from some of what Amazon paid me in May based on my KDP earnings from two months earlier. And if you're interested in the accompanying income report that goes with this, uh, which would be March 2022, you can find that in the playlist linked above. 
For a while, I was choosing to be paid in Canadian dollars, but I opted to use WISE so that I could be paid in US dollars because my partner and I started looking for our first investment property in the United States. So the passive income journey continues to get bigger and better and even more exciting than I thought possible. In my business account, I currently have three bank accounts. I just recently opened up a new one so that I can be paid in euros. And after you open a new currency account, you just need to click on it and go to the account details. And you can plug in the relevant details from this page to Amazon or Stripe or Shopify, etc., so that you can be paid in US dollars. Keep in mind, when you open a bank account, you usually need to take some sort of ID into the bank branch. And WISE is not a bank, but it is a financial institution. So they also need to know who is using its service and you'll need to verify your personal or business information if they ask. Setting up a WISE personal or business account is the cheapest and easiest way to open a bank account online in the United States as a non-resident remotely, whether you want to hold money in US dollars, spend money on vacations abroad, shop online, or receive earnings from an American employer. Click the first link in the description or the pinned comment to set up your account today. If you found value in this video, give it a thumbs up Subscribe for more tips and tutorials about generating passive income online. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.